Hi, my name is Phil Hover, and I'm an independent filmmaker in Southern California. I wanted to show you what I was able to find. So here we have a high energy 8.4 volt, 4500 milliamp hour battery into a specialized connector for that battery. Simple cable into our Panasonic DC coupler. Plugs in, closes up, and powers on. Let me show you a little bit more about this. You know, I really, I really like this camera. I like its features, but it is sorely lacking in the battery department. Um, there's solutions out there like the Switchtronics uh, powering solutions, and they have a, a system for the GH1. Currently don't have a system for the GH2, but I imagine that's forthcoming from the company. But uh, I don't really want to spend $400 on a battery system and have to, you know, deck it out with... Uh, you know, ways to rig the batteries and stuff like that because they're, they're pretty large and they're good and they serve their purpose, but I was looking for something a little bit different. So here's what I was able to come up with. Uh, basically, for those GH2 owners out there, we know we have a Panasonic 7.2 volt, 1200 milliamp hour battery. That's the standard battery, still hard to come by right now, but hopefully those will be uh, more prevalent. I know people have ordered directly from Panasonic and have had success with that. But um, my first thing to do was to find you know, another uh, way to feed power into it. And obviously the best way to do that is with the Panasonic DMW DCC8 uh, coupler. And uh, what's different about this and the battery is the battery is 7.2 volts and the coupler is actually 8.4 volts. So that means that you need to be feeding this more power than you would think you know, that the battery says it needs. So first thing I tried was to um, actually hook up a 7.2 volt battery thinking that it would power the camera, which it does briefly, but then the camera reports that it's unable to run off that battery. So that's not a good solution. So I was initially thinking I would run something with the AC adapter. Haven't yet gotten the Panasonic AC adapter. I ended up picking up a uh, third party AC adapter that, you know, was just a cheap one from Fry's. Uh, it's a multi-selection voltage, uh, 2,500 milliamp hour Rhino DC uh, coupler adapter. And it just so happens it came with the right type of uh, pin to feed into this. And this will power the camera and works great. Uh, so that's a good option if people are looking for something besides the Panasonic AC adapter. This was, I believe, $20. The Panasonic adapter is going for something like $55, $60. So if you're looking for an AC solution, get the uh, DC coupler here, the Panasonic branded one, and then you can use something along the lines like that. Now, once I saw that a third party AC adapter would work fine with this, I was on you know the money for finding something in the battery department. And here's what I found. The Tenergy, or uh, what do I wanna say, just high energy battery, this is actually a battery made by Traxxas, uh, but that doesn't really matter. It's an 8.4 volt, 4,500 milliamp hour battery. And, uh, you know, it's designed actually for radio controlled cars, powering them, uh, you know, with their high energy needs and stuff like that. It's not too heavy. I would put it at, you know, maybe a pound, pound and a half. I'm sure there's a spec on that somewhere. But uh, basically this is a $40 battery and uh, which is pretty inexpensive and it uses 1.2 volt cells. There's seven of them in here. It's cheap, it's effective, and it works. So then, you know, obviously we have this uh, different type of connector. They call that a uh, Tamiya uh, connector and that's kind of a standard in radio controlled cars. And you know, any hobby store will have batteries like this. You can buy these online. All you have to do is just to search for 8.4 volt uh, to my connector or 8.4 volt battery. The only thing that comes up is airsoft and radio control car batteries like this. So uh, what I then got was a Tamiya connector and that Tamiya connector will hook right in here and just run a simple cable, run to our DC coupler. DC coupler goes in there and all we have to do is plug it in to the GH2. And we can either close this or leave this open, but I'm gonna close it, make it look nice. And we've got juice. So as you can see, nothing special, just uh, converting the battery over. 
Now I've done a test, uh, just kind of running this, running slideshows, running recordings and stuff like that. I got six hours of battery life or so. Um, it actually probably could have gone longer, but I got a little bit bored. Uh, put it on the charger and the battery said it had, you know, one bar left out of, I think, six bars. So maybe it's like one bar per hour or something like that. But the uh, there's different chargers out there. The nice thing about this battery, though, is it's meant for RC cars. It's meant to be charged and discharged quickly. So the chargers, like this one I picked up over here from the hobby store, a little Onyx 200. I don't think the brand really matters, but as long as it has the Tamiya connector, then that will plug into the battery and you're good to go. And this uh, charger basically charges the battery in less than an hour. I would put it at about 40 minutes. Now, initially you're supposed to charge it at a lower amperage. I imagine if I charge it at a higher current, then uh, I could even get it going faster. This charger is like 40 bucks. Battery here is 40 bucks. And our little connectors and cables and you know DC coupler was like $6. So really you're looking at under $100 and then you can buy additional $40 packs and you're running all day with just two packs. So that's pretty inexpensive. So the only things you need is the battery, the charger. I've got a new cable here. I made this little short cable for, for compactness. And then I have a little six foot DC cord. So it's got the DC connector there and the um, little uh, wire ends here on the other side. Easy to see positive, negative. That's that's simple to hook up and everything. This uh, cable cost me, I believe, $3. And so I can do a six foot run. If you want a shorter run, you can just cut it shorter. But uh, the exact dimensions on the DC connector is 1.7 millimeters by 4.75 millimeters. So inner diameter, outer diameter, 1.7, 4.75. And that's what the Panasonic connector needs is that exact size fits perfectly, nice and snug. So here's the Tamiya connectors I ended up getting. It comes with a little wiring kit so that you can wire your own connector. That way you can plug in this cable into your battery and then your battery of course will plug into the charger. Simple, straightforward, works well. And uh, I've already shot a couple projects with this. Been uh, really happy with not having to worry about battery life on the GH2. And uh, like I said, I've run tests. And uh, the only time I ever saw something weird was when the battery was brand new and I think it was completely out of juice. The GH2 started reporting that it couldn't use the battery. So there was probably a slight voltage drop towards the end of the battery life. But once you, uh, you get around that and you know charge it back up again, it's actually a nice little warning uh, if you're running out of battery life because the, uh, there's no indicator on screen of how much battery life you have left. Now, obviously this is an AC adapter, so the camera thinks that it's getting power all the time. But um, that way, you know, if the camera says, oh, can't use this battery, that means your battery's out of juice. Uh, the nice thing is though, hopefully, I haven't tested this, but I'm not sure what will happen if the, um, you know, the camera says it can't use a battery and you're in the middle of recording a clip or something like that. But if you're, if you wanna, you know, be careful, you just run it for five hours and not six, switch batteries and you should be fine. Of course, you always have your other battery as a backup. So, summary, I've been, uh, been really stoked with this and uh, hope it helps you guys out there.